Right, so uh, thanks for coming. And um, well, welcome to my bath um, about redesigning.debian.org website. Um, well, probably most of you know the website already, but maybe we can take a closer look at it first. So, all the guys who have internet, please open the web page. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, that's what it looks like, so you know. May I? Um, Christian Perrier, he had a request. Yes. He's not here, but he had a request. Yes. He wanted that you uh, explain how to pronounce your name. <laughs> okay, well, all right. Agnieszka. Agnieszka Czajkowska. Well, as most people say, it's okay? Yeah. Um, right. So, um, I've been asking a few people about the website, not only Devin users, but also other people who um, I showed it to you, and it was quite important for me to collect some feedback. And many people did uh, criticize a few things, so maybe before we um, get back to the design part, I just explained a few uh, structural stuff that at least could be changed for the website itself, and then we just go back to the design part. Okay? Um, so, basically, the first thing uh, I've been told about this website is that it's very difficult to navigate. Um, I don't know, maybe how about you, maybe you can uh, say something about this, but you can feel the same, or what is it for you guys? Yeah, essentially, uh, that's... That was the main part of my, my uh, website talk last year, that the uh, usability of it really sucks. Mm -hmm. But um, as ev everyone can see, uh, nobody, uh, nothing ever resulted from that, mostly due to time constraints on my part. Mm -hmm. But I would admit that uh, there are big improvements possible there. Yeah. yeah sure. Actually, you maybe you can go back in here. But 
um, what about the other parts of the navigation? Because you really don't know which one to focus on. Do you get that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and this is a complete different side opening here, which is not um, constantly designed for the rest of it. And now I just wonder, how the hell do you go back to the main navigation, for example? So, okay, you press the back button, well, bridge. Let's do that. And another thing is, um, when you have like a navigation bar this long, it is not really um, usable because people do not like to read. And if you have too much information on one section, it gets really exhausting for people to get over it. And if, it, if somebody would have it on a low resolution, he must have to scroll. So the main thing about building short pages is really to avoid scrolling as much as possible. Because that gets, you know, much easier for uh, people to, to deal with. Um, well, can anybody explain, please, the logical structure of that? Because why do we have here a main menu, and why do we have here the same main menu with submenus? I mean, uh, the cost for being at there is pretty clear. It's historically uh, grown. Like, the main menu on the top was there from the beginning, mm -hmm. and someone thought, mm hmm, you can't actually go to many parts of the website very fast, so let's on the start page add another, another menu so that you can jump to, uh, re, uh, to many pages directly. I guess that's the historical uh, uh, yeah, events that led to this addition. It was even before my time, so I really don't know exactly, but I, that's my guess. Um, so, what you really could do, like, would be a, a good compromise so that you can really reach those things fast and really choose where you're uh, main menu, you know, that you can reach like from everywhere. And then when you for example have some submenus, then you just put them separately so that people are able to navigate. Because in here it's just complete chaos and you really don't know which one to focus. Do you understand that? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Sure. Whether, um, I mean then well, if you put navigation bar here or here it's a design question basically. So um, if we have something here with submenus, you rather um, go to a main menu point and then when you click on that, then a submenu could appear. You understand? Yes, so it's like, you know, falling down some, yeah. some kind of... Almost, almost, not all the browsers support it. That's no, a problem. No, that's, you don't have to. It's just a normal HTML link. It's just, a, you know, PHP sort of thing you have to, you can program. It's no problem. For example, if no, no, you no, use links. Maybe I'll show my creative geeks uh, because it's the only thing I can think of. Maybe I would suggest that you have only the main menu at the, at the main page. Mm -hmm. And if, when you go to, to that part of the, of the page, then the sub-menu could be at, at the yeah. left side. Oh, this is our local menu. Maybe this will help us work on that. So if we, uh, for example, you, you see that here, right? So when I click on that, I hope there is a second menu here. See? So it just appears, I think it's just a normal HTML thing. You don't have to do anything extra. Just CSS and HTML, basically. So this is not supposed to be a problem. Um, Another thing is, which is quite difficult is, you'll see those lines are extremely long. And I don't know if you guys ever read an ebook or something, and when the lines are very long, you get exhausted. Or your eyes get very exhausted after that. So, um, actually you should, 
well, minimize the, uh, you know, uh, what is it? Why, you know, oh shit. Yeah, same. Um, <coughs> so that people are able to read the text. I mean, if I, for example, click on the free software, then mm -hmm. we see like a mass of text, which is, I mean, see that. Right? This is really, I mean, no one would be able to read this at once unless it goes like over and half and is already tired of reading this. Yeah. Besides the fact that there are still the menu uh, missing in the navigation, so. So, um. I might have a disconnect now. Yeah, what? Uh, a connector. Oh, okay. So we can use the humor. No, it's, no, that's it's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Maybe this one? That's look, that looks better, yeah. Yeah. Okay, this so might work. Let's look. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
See, it's not that long, so people really can uh, easily navigate. Um, okay, this one here, I think that's a design question where we can put it like anywhere. Uh, I don't know. Um, so, I was thinking maybe about putting the sitemap. Uh, what is in here? Search thing, maybe here, instead of find a server near you. But th these are like details which can be discussed um, separately, you know, because we're quite flexible using this design. Um, so what you have basically here, it's um, it's a semi-transparent uh, bar which is like on the swirls. Well, I think transparent PNG should not be a problem though. And we have the same thing here too. And this line, which also marks the um, active menu, active part of the menu, by just having the space in between. I think you can see that. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. um, so basically I've done uh, in here, this is the arrow version. Like when you have all text with Arial. And you know, all these things can also be uh, great with CSS, so this is no problem. You just need a special color uh, uh, stuff for that. Yes? I like it more with, instead of four swings, uh, a big swing in the, um, in the left down. The problem is when you put it in the left and then somebody has a different resolution, mm -hmm. it will repeat. And that sucks. But you can show only uncle only one swirl. I think it would look boring with one swirl. I see too many. Too many swirls. You actually can read the text uh, above the swirls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. From from here it looks. I see the swirls, but I don't see the text. So. Uh, yeah. I like it, but too many swirls. Okay, so maybe I just can put one away. Like this one? No, only one, I think it's only one, and um, more, more in the reply of the text. No, 
this file right now is is hiding all the text. Mm -hmm. What we could do to a compromise is maybe in here I put another uh, single transparent um, yeah bar or something that is covering these words, or I put some some away. Yeah. I don't know. Have you have you tested this because? Uh, we need to have uh, compatibility with most of the browsers. Yes, sure. Have you tested these with some other browsers? No, these are just images. Text-based browsers? Right, right. These are just images, but this is not a problem to make it like XHTML uh, transitional. The should be compatible with links, for example. Yes, I like yeah. that. But I say Only hiding part of the text. Okay. It's not so annoying. Okay, so uh, another thing, maybe before I make uh, some changes, I can do it right now because I have my illustrator open. Mm -hmm. So I can just do it on the fly. But maybe just finish this. Um, this is the lower idea that I have for the event. Because um, this font that we're having right now just um, is not really good because it's too heavy and it's really, as he said, it's maybe the same effect that you were talking about, it's hiding <laughs> everything and I think it hides this wonderful swirl. How do you decide the font? Um, the font is actually a free one, at least it's available in uh, Linux distributions. It's called um, Avant-Garde. Mm -hmm. And I use the same font for, uh, for the DevCon. It was hard enough to find uh, at least a sort of free font and that really had its kind of fine line um, design, you know. So, um, I think basically it's, it's, it's a kind of uh, balance between the swirl and this font. Um, in, your, in your design, um, can you go back then? Um, I don't. I don't see you know, any footer or something like that. Well, um, this is just. This is just you know just just a sample. The footers okay. and all that stuff can be added uh, separately. So this is this is just just a little sample you know of the design because I mean this is just an image basically. Do you have any idea with the, with the language with the language list to put it? Because right now it's a bit place in the foot of the page and it's very ugly. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah, it we need it, but it's ugly. Okay, so you mean this? This page is available. Can you, maybe you could do one thing like um, a checkbox? No, no, this is the middle of this. No, in no, the no, bottom. no, but I mean for the languages that instead of um, that, making these yes. things, he made yeah. a checkbox. Checkbox? Yes, a checkbox. No, select box. Select box, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, checkbox. Just besides the, besides the search box. I mean, this is the thing we really can discuss about. I mean, I can place the uh, things kind of like, I don't know, maybe we can put it in here somewhere beside it, uh, close to the navigation so that we can choose it. Um, I think that should be. Because when people have to, the problem is we should really put it in the beginning because people don't notice that there there is a translation anyway, right? Because most people do not even go to the down to the page. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah the, the problem is these details are, yeah, I don't, um, the problem is that Many of the de these details you probably have to consider in the design because you have to you have to at least to have a place to place them somewhere. Yeah, sure. So, so for that case, I would recommend to take Arial as the font because <laughs> shut up. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, because for Dana, it's way too much space. You see. And this is the same font size. Um, which fonts are this now? 
Verdana, this is Ariel and this is Verdana. Verdana taking Verdana. way too much space. Is the R free? Yep. No. Free phone? Yes, yes, sure. That's, these are normal fonts that you're using on, on web pages that everybody yeah, has but, installed. Yeah, uh, but they are not free. Ariel is not but, but that's not the problem because uh, the browser needs to have the browser needs to have these ones. And um, I mean the font we can can't really tell anyway uh, which font the user will use. But because basically it depends which fonts he have uh, ha has and uh, I mean um, I guess it's it's more uh, the, the text width. Um, it, um, yeah, it's probably good just to, just to give a relational, uh, yeah, max uh, width, maximum width that the user should use, and depending on the font, this will, will be longer or not. But at least the uh, number of characters will be yeah, uh, at about the same. And I think that's what it's all about, about the number of characters, not so much about the real width of the text. Or is it? I don't know. It is, because the font face is completely different. But I think uh, the uh, style of Debian name, I don't know, I'm not sure. I prefer the other font. Yeah. yeah. I think people is not really to change the font. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, okay, so I'm going to put some suggestions here, where I uh, put the, <coughs> some of the swirls away. Well, at least I would leave maybe three swirls, let's see what that looks like. Just a big one. Yeah. For the swirl, it doesn't matter whether Lynx, uh, what, because it's the background image and Lynx completely ignores it, I think. Yeah. Uh, but, but you have to use JavaScript to, hmm? to prevent uh, it from repeating or... Uh, no, no, what, what she meant was, uh, I think, uh, if, you, if you do it at the, at the background, then the background... No, no, but just the background image. Yeah. yeah, and what she meant was that the background image repeats automatically. Yeah, but that, that was you, uh, what was that what you meant with yes. uh, yes, repeating? Yes, because like when somebody has a different resolution, everyone repeats, and then we'll suck no, no, like you can words. you can see the with CSS, and you can see no repeat. Yeah. And you only have one. And so you mean she she should um, anchor it at the right and no repeat? But does it support? Mm. Is it supported by every browser? Because in the yeah. center it's very. Yeah. Very intrusive. Yeah. If the browser supports any CSS, I think it will do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think the, the uh, only sucky browsers regarding basic stuff like this are older um, Internet Explorer versions and everything down from uh, 6.0 I wouldn't worry so much about. It's my opinion, but 
I don't know. And if you try to worry about Netscape 4, <laughs> it's no, a completely other topic. I think, <laughs> I think no one should worry about that. So. <laughs> yeah, no, because that's just how it is. Yeah, so yeah, I think <laughs> So, the ba there are several uh, things about a design we uh, need to talk about if implementing it. The one thing is the menus, because you need to define them somewhere or uh, to implement creating them. So, one needs a solution for that and one needs to program that. Um, the next thing is... Um, I mean, the changing the layout as such is, should be fairly easy because you just need to uh, change the template. Uh, what, uh, what you uh, can't forget though is um, that most of the sites currently will not work if you depend near, uh, on XHTML or something like that because most of the body texts uh, are uh, HTML at currently and are not XML compliant. So, um, if you really want to do an XHTML, if you really want to, but I don't think it has anything to do with the design. Well, uh, no, no, it doesn't. I mean, the yeah. programming part is just up to you. So, yeah. whoever does that, it's, you know. I think HTML4 <laughs> and XHTML don't display uh, differently. If you will, or yeah, do they? Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, I changed the I made the other switch because I like them more because it gives a little bit more attention. Yeah. So maybe can we compromise on that, <laughs> guys? I, I don't know. It's not that. I still see too many spiders, <laughs> many rooms. Okay, but, but really it's not a now. detail yes, that really matters at the moment. I just really. But you know, it just looks better in this world because there's just one swirl here. And then it, it just yeah. gives a little attention to, to the website. So it, it just, yeah. You understand? It's very slim. It's very slim. It's Only just one is real. It's simple. Yeah, it's too simple. Yeah. I mean, the site itself is actually very simple because you just have the background image and the rest is just CSS. Well, beside this part here, you can be, I don't know, I don't know if you can do that in HTML. It just would be one pixel. Uh, yeah. 
I, so the, the main problem with implementing a new design is really um, if you want to um, combine it is with new menus to implement that part. Mm -hmm. Everything else should be fairly easy. You mm -hmm. just need to uh, make a patch for the template or a new template generally because patches uh, of huge patches of HTML files <laughs> don't give you anything. <laughs> um, but yeah. The, the main problem would be to uh, talk about the menus, uh, on which side do you want which entries and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Well, I made a few suggestions here about the structure. I hope you could follow that in a way. This is only uh, my conclusion of what people have told me. Uh, what maybe would be a, a way in the right direction. But I think this is basically a communication thing and we really should talk about this. This is your only design? Or do you have any design? Yeah, I just have to take this one because I think it's, it's quite hard for me to make a careful website because you like it so simple. So, I, had, I didn't have any great ideas to do some more. I mean, I can try, but... Mm. I see one some time ago. Uh, I think it was last. He has some kind of design that was very cool. With um, he's not here, but you go ask him later. Right. He was a design. He was very close to his was page. The swirl and uh, the menu here in the in the love. Wow. I don't know what is it. What is well, it? but anyway, uh, we have a proposal from her, uh -huh. and you said there are small proposals. Uh, how they as a community are going to say they okay, like this and let's use it, let's yeah. program this. The, I mean, the main thing you need first is someone who can uh, coordinate this stuff. So someone who tells, yeah, I, I want that we have a new design and maybe it's that, maybe it's another one, but let's see the proposals and see them together and discuss the problems with them or the advantages. Uh, let's see how, how much the actual HTML actually differs. That would be another thing uh, to see, uh, to maybe try to really uh, get a good HTML uh, background uh, so that if you ever change the design again, you, you mostly can get away with changing the CSS. Um, I think the structure right now of the HTML is suboptimal and will, uh, you will need to change that too if you change the design. But um, if you have a really, really clear and good structure, you can uh, do many changes just by choosing another uh, CSS file. Hmm? Yeah. A question for you. Yeah. A question, what is better, uh, shame all the page? Suddenly? Like or step by step? Um, if you change the design, you basically change it for the whole website at once. Uh, because the whole website uses only one template. Okay, and there's this... Uh, and you can, uh, you can do little changes on the template. Hmm? You can, you can do it, you can, uh, you can go, you can go, go in, no. <laughs> you can do a little to little change on the template. One day a change, another day another change, step by step. I, I don't know what would uh, bring the uh, what what the advantage of that would be. Uh, because if we change all the time at the same time, uh, we are only always forgetting some some stuff. And people, for example, when the the last change to the the web page was changed some time ago. It was mm -hmm. from from one standard to another standard. It was um, when we were making the changes. One well, the people who was making the changes um, um, was having some troubles. She was doing the. I think the last change was doing little to little, and people was detecting the the problems and fixing it. If we do a very a big change suddenly. We are going to have a lot of problems. Uh, but uh, anyway, if, um, if, if going to we be cannot do anything like the like a local context, context. I mean, 
everybody left uh, the school as the main logo after a, a, a time of uh, seeing all the proposals. So doing something like that in order to achieve a complete redesign of the, of the web page, but this is a democratic decision. It's impossible. I mean, the, the, the way say the way say the a democracy decision because it's okay. it's not not all people is going to like it. Of course, Never. Not. it's the same thing that happened with the law. But I mean, you not, not everybody liked the trial. Not everybody. Well, the problem is you really should be aware of. And I think that's the thing that people are, are taking wrong. The website, you're not doing it just for you guys, internal mm -hmm. circle. You do it for everybody else. You do it for people who see the website, who maybe don't have a clue about their neighborhoods. And you have to give them something which they can see it's professional. Yeah, you can have it some hours. Um, whether it's something that looks kind of professional and serious. And you cannot, because this is, the, you know, the presence for, is for the public. It is not Sorry. for you guys. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah but that, that doesn't change the problem that one needs to uh, think of how the, uh, how the decision process should yeah, but look like. Yeah, who's responsible for that? I mean, who, who does, who can make, I mean, I've talked to many people here. Like, also, I know Andreas and Gunnar and some other people as well, and they were quite welcome to see changes. Yeah, yeah. And the if you, you just need to tell me the persons who are responsible for that, and then, we, you know, we can... Yeah, but that's the problem with the whole website. Um, I mean, um, like, I'm a webmaster, yeah? So I can change pretty everything, I have to write for everything on the website and, and stuff like that. But, um, so and there are other webmasters, there are I think three active people at the moment who mean are the webmasters, that is me, this is uh, Joey Schulze, and that is uh, Matt Cray, Cray, I don't know how, how Cray. Um, that are the active webmasters, but uh, being a webmaster actually means uh, more, currently means more like being responsible for the technical infrastructure and stuff that the normal CVS committers can't do because they don't have the right to. So we are not really decision makers. We, we could do that, but we would get a lot of heat for that uh, if we try to be like uh, the leaders of the web. Uh, team. So, um, I mean, there are like 10 people, or maybe even 20, if you don't ca count the translators, uh, that work on the website. Mm -hmm. yeah? If you count the translators, it's much more, but many of them really don't care about the technical details. They care about that the text is there and it's translated. So, um, and the, uh, the problem with that is, we don't have any real leader at the moment. We even lack people that are really active at the moment. Yeah, I mean, like I'm a bit active, and some other people are a bit active. So that's the real problem at the moment with the website. You don't have someone who can decide this actually. And um, so, yeah. So if there's anyone that wants to decide, so why not just go for it? Um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, how it has to work, that someone decides to, de to decide and um, well, decide ma makes it, it, yeah, um, you need someone who puts in the inner energy to make this happen. Yeah, and But yeah, you can you can do it on the main on the uh, web mailing list. I don't see any problem with that. I mean, um, but the person uh, is going to decide decide all the. I mean, purpose. someone someone should make a proposal. How how so? Um, so 
What I had in mind last year, before I realized I don't have the time for it, is really to make a proposal for the process at first, then get some discussion about that and then just do it. Yeah? So you practically send a mail, like we should do it, this now and that's, that's the steps I have in mind that we need to follow. Like first get some proposals, but we have already some. Um, then secondly, yeah, test, uh, set up a test website with the with, uh, proposals that we deem are uh, good so that you can see technical problems with them. And that's no problem. I mean, you just do a CVS <coughs> check out of the website, change the template, and rebuild it completely. And we have uh, getting uh, hardware for that to set it up is not, is not pr the problem. Um, and then we decide on which proposal to take or something like that. And this, this step needs a bit more detail, obviously. <laughs> um, but you need someone to, to initiate this. And yeah. Okay, so whatever. We can do that and we can take my proposal for that too. So, and let's see what happens now. Yeah. So the only, the only thing I can do for you, I mean, I'm, I'm like, you know, studying graphic design and I only can offer you guys some skills to, you know, concept behind the uh, whole layout thing and stuff. So, I mean, it's fairly up to you whether you take it or not. Okay, so, it's, yes. Yes? Yeah, the, the main problem is to find people that are interested in doing it. I mean, there are many people interested in talking about it, but you need to find people that are interested in doing it. And well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but um, you need to find now some people that are interested in making the technical, uh, ma making the implementation uh, of the of the background of the back end working, like. Do you guys have some time right now? I will have time in a couple of minutes. But I guess you guys know some people maybe in person, you would ask to work with, but I think it should not be such a big problem to find to do that. Um, you can find people to do it. Yes, yeah, because, I mean, if you people have some guarantee that his work or their work is going to, to work it. Because right now in Debian there's people who do some work, some work and then they don't have a way to to get to go to get this work in Debian. Well, it's pretty up to us really. I don't I don't think yeah. that kind of people is is easy. I know. So well, well I think um, so basically I guess you all agree with me that there needs to be a new design. Yeah. Okay. So um, we should maybe do one thing like set up or announce it somewhere on the mailing list that there's going to be something like that and uh, maybe you can show the proposals, the other proposals somewhere. I don't know who has them or where they are. And we can talk about it. So any questions? Comments? Okay. I think I think you should uh, try also to bring. Uh, well, I hope it will be like that. But anyway, uh, it will be good for you to bring this discussion at least your template or mm -hmm. your design to the sure. Debian. Uh, WWW main list mm -hmm. so more people can uh, you know give an opinion about it. And it's better you don't you don't send an image. It's better you should you show a a web page, a red mail. Sorry? It's better if when you you send a mail for discussion about this, don't send don't link an image. Link a H yeah, H M L page. Yes. No, HTML, I think this is not a good idea because I mean, you have to, 
it, it's just about the look. I mean, when you decide no, for it, it does, that, that actually doesn't work. I, well, from experience, that, that actually doesn't work because people want to already, yeah. The, the problem is that there, there are so many technical um, yes. co uh, oriented people there and they will to uh, try out what happens if I uh, make the font size uh, 300%, percent, percent. Uh, what happens if I do that, what I, when, I, when I change my font. When okay, but to probably then uh, explain in detail in the in the mail that yes yeah that, yeah I, mean, I, I only explain the problems that will occur uh, one has to work around that I, yeah well, no. <laughs> no but I think these are things we can discuss but uh, you really need, um, before it goes to, to the realizing the we really should wait before we will have set it up in a way. I mean, I can't explain you guys my concept behind all this. I guess it's uh, pretty clear for you guys. I guess mm -hmm. so. Um, I don't know how the others look like. And I don't know if people who done this are also designers. Mm -hmm. So... Well, actually, the rest is right up to you. Yeah. You know? Whether if you find some people... I mean, I could find some people. Okay. okay. I want to say something. Yes. From outside of Debian, we are users mainly, you know, mm -hmm. the developer, you know, nothing else. Uh, we see now that the current site, website doesn't at all represent what Debian means at all. We, you are a very serious movement. We need you, we need to, to see your very great image also. So please do whatever you need to do, but discuss this in, in the website and the list. And this, I think, is very, very, I don't know, urgent. You need to do this because there's plenty of other sub projects like Ubuntu and all, of, all these things having incredible great web, web pages representing their deals and everything, and the mother of all of them has a very humble website and I, I, I think it is really, really some ma something mandatory to do it this year, this year. At least have some, some proposals of, the, of graphic design and then next year, not, not much more than next year, with uh, dummy test uh, websites mounted with that design, just make an election. Yeah. And do it, yes. uh, should also include uh, some technical issues to the usability of the site because uh, mainly for the people that are not used to Debian website, uh, because uh, for example, I send to somebody uh, here's the web page, uh, download the, the, the net install. And for me, it's easy to find it, but some people yeah. get yeah, really, really lost. Yeah. Yeah. Something like uh, popular downloads. Or I something. have some friends when they need to download a new, a new, a new image. Mm -hmm. uh, can you give me the link, please? <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that's really a problem about uh, the content also. And that opens a whole other can of worms yeah, to speak it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's not that much of another discussion, but it's another lot of work. It, yeah. 
if you change the design, um, you can change some things of that, but uh, to really increase the usability of the site uh, even more, you need to work on the content, and that's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, but. So the, um, the procedure for do this is send a mic with the shells, with a patch, um, and wait for a discussion, what people say. I, I mean, the, uh, it has to start with some discussion on the, on the mailing list. Um, I'm not sure how to initiate it um, best. What it's I worry about a little bit is that um, my worry is actually that you really, when you, once you start a discussion, you can't stop discussing. And this is, uh, you really should be able like, to do things and not discuss too much because sometimes it just gets like, you know, over. Yeah. You need a lot of energy if you want to do change on some things inside of the game or something. And the website is... Yeah, the, 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 the main problem... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As I said, the main problem is that we don't have currently someone who could lead this discussion to something useful. And that's, so, because we don't have some, some lead person in the uh, web team, um, and that, that, yeah, it, it should we should be able to deal with with, uh, with this with, without some, but it makes it much harder. Um, so it's really a social problem at the moment, I would say, <coughs> to make this happen. But we should certainly try. Um, but we sh probably need to discuss this uh, later more because <laughs> now it's eating time and yeah, stuff it's like but we can certainly discuss this later today if you want. Yeah, sure. Okay, so thanks.